Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. You now need to decide whether this is going to be a display model or a flying model. The reason is, for a flying model, we want to spin the rocket so that it's more stable as it ascends. And we do that by canting the fins just a little bit. Um, and so in the instructions or from the Apogee website, you can download fin positioning sheets. And there's one for a zero degree fin cant angle. And this is for your display model. And then there's one that has a two degree fin cant. And this would be recommended for the flying model. We do recommend this for the flying model because you do want that extra stability. These are small fins compared to the size of the rocket. On other rocket kits, other Saturn 1B rocket kits from the past, what they did was they made the fins oversized. This is a scale model and so we wanted the fins to be true to scale. So it's important to add that extra stability if you want to fly it. So I have the two degree fin cant and I've cut it out and it will look like this and you want to get some tape it's here on the floor okay. and we're going to wrap this around the tube and you want the arrow parts pointing towards the front end okay so I'm going to wrap it around the tube and it's going to overlap and I'll tape it. Okay, and then I want to rotate it around. You'll find one that has a line right through the middle of it. And that one is the position one line. And here it is right here. It looks a little bit different and I want to put that on position one and you can kind of see that this one is canted. And then push it all the way up to the top of the tube and then just take it in place. Just moved it so I better double check it. Okay, and then take the pencil and wherever there's a little line, we want to make a little line with our pencil. This is probably going to be hard to see. Also do the launch lug and we'll label it LL for launch lug. Okay, then we're going to peel up the tape slightly and then we're going to slide the ring down about an eighth of an inch or about three millimeters and retape it, um, double check the position one line to make sure that that's still aligned. And then put tick marks on the top of the ring. And when you get them done, just go ahead and remove the wrap. And then we're going to take a ruler and we're going to draw lines on the inner two 
and up to the front of the tube. And this is going to be a little bit difficult because your ruler is going to want to rotate around on you. So when you do this, use the, the top of the tube and then the top of the tick mark so that you have all of them lined properly. And it doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the tube. And when it comes to the launch lug, go ahead and use, use an angle so that it's, you're guaranteed that it's straight. The purpose of these angled lines is to help us position the, the fins. You'll see that the lines run along the edges of the fins, and this allows us to get them onto the tube at the right location and at the right angle. So, when we center the fin, this fin inside the lines, we know that that fin is canted at a two degree angle. And this is gonna allow us to have that rocket that spins on the way up. Now, it won't be noticeable to the average observer of the rocket, so if you're worried about that, don't. Unless you tell them that you canted the fins two degrees, they're not even gonna notice. So this is a good way to make your rocket stable without really affecting the appearance of the rocket.